At 530, a school divisions work to find teachers. Hanover County Public Schools is combating the teacher shortage with a new program. The Provincial Academy for Teachers in Hanover, also known as PATH, just launched this year, and the division says that it's the first of its kind in the Commonwealth. Yeah, I was able to get a closer look at this program, allowing teachers to be in the classroom now, all while earning their license. A new lesson plan in Hanover County Public Schools could be the solution to getting teachers in the classroom. Give me, give me your eyes for one second. Let me say it one more time. And it's given folks like Alan Myers a second chance. For somebody like me, who's right, I'm in my mid 50s switching careers, one of the real downsides of becoming a teacher is that you have to go back and get some certifications to be able to get your license. Which he says can be costly and time consuming. And since education can't wait, he chose the PATH program to jumpstart his new career with students at Atlee High School. I think they're getting a benefit from me being there right now. And as I learn and grow from learning how to be actually be a better teacher, then they're going to get more and more from me. Hanover County Schools says the program is the first of its kind in Virginia, getting teachers in classrooms now when they are most needed. For the next three years, these provisional teachers will learn the curriculum required by the state for free, all while teaching their own students. And once they pass the required test, they will officially have their license to teach. Their homework, so to speak, for us is their lesson planning. It is the work with teacher clarity, the things that are the division areas of focus already. Uh, we are pulling all of that together for them. Learning coordinator Dr. Amy Thompson says there are less than five teacher vacancies in HCPS, but they're working to get ahead of the teacher shortage. They have the opportunity and the time now um, we're not worrying about those stressors, not worrying about those financial barriers. An opportunity that could make a big impact to those who need it most. It makes me feel good that I'm trying to make a little bit of a difference and, uh, and hopefully, you know, it's working for the kids as well. And Dr. Thompson tells me some school divisions in our area are looking into this program to see if it could work for their classrooms. Well, tonight, an update.